guys welcome back to the channel today we have blood and snow by rochelle workman this is the book one out of seven magic academy this is what the book looks like it's only a small book as well so it's not too bad and this is the synopsis fairy tales exist but before the happily ever after there will be blood snow white is an ordinary girl living next door to seven extraordinary hot guys her greatest aspiration by attending her fellowship academy kiss the one she's crushing on her past chemistry but when the mysterious Charles Charlemin joins the school, everything changes. Snow didn't plan to be in Ben, she was chosen. And Charles Charlemin is Christopher, who's also a vampire hunter, but not that kind of vampire hunter that kills vampires. It's a vampire hunter who makes more vampires. Oof. Now she's suddenly a part of a world full of supernaturals and the greatest of them all are for Snow because she's the fairest of land and what the hell. So she's gonna become the next vampire queen. With the help of her best friend and the guys, um, she has no must find a way to pass her fairy without killing anyone while she rejects the vampire queen demands. But as a newbie super supernatural, two things are certain. There will be blood and kissing. Call up this man of kiss kissing. But, so the snow is not sort of her being a buff. She's like this guy, <coughs> sorry, girl who basically wears tomboy clothes, pop tomboy, and doesn't really learn. And she has a best friend who is smart, well, it's smart, um, who um, wears like the fashion you just close she's beautiful she's amazing and she's hanging around with her and she always thinks sometimes she feel embarrassed for her meeting and everything like that but we also find out that her friend is actually a witch i can't remember her name but cindy cindy's apparently the descendant of a witch so i was like ooh, this is interesting this is getting more different so i have got the next three four books i think of this series um i think there's there's 10 books so i'm really looking forward to finding out the next one so she goes in and out of the realm where the queen is and she sees the queen she hears the queen for the first time and stuff like this she finds out this chance charming comes in and finds out that she he's not who really is um she drinks his blood for the first time, but she doesn't crave anything. But then she slowly, slowly craves. Like she goes on the rampage of like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to talk to my friend. I don't want to talk to my guys. Her, uh, the guys' adopted father, and pops. They find she doesn't want to do this anymore. She doesn't want to be a vampire. She just want to be an ordinary girl again. Um, and she does something very, very bad. And. The thing is, that's very upsetting. That she does think is something that she does do bad. Um, so basically, to come, what she has done is to kill her loved one that she loves, and she loves Gabe, one of the seven brothers. And apparently, one of the seven brothers also like her in the love, lovely way. But Gabe wants to cross the first hand. And as soon as he finds out that she was bitten, he kind of stays away from her, doesn't want too much. And so he goes, right, what was happening we might have to go off way if we stay, stay two friends. And it just backed off away from that. That's when Chance Charming came in, aka Christopher comes in, and it chances her to show her more about her vampire side, um, drink the blood that she needs, so she was drinking from him, um, and it helped her control her bloodlust. She had this bloodlust tea to make sure she wasn't going to, drink people's blood um her dad and her dad's new wife um basically was always away and lived at home and the mom the stepmom treated like snow white like a piece of crap but i got to the end of it where they she did track um to get herself a new laptop really and a phone she never had a phone until right at the end she finally gets a phone she finally gets a laptop she doesn't have to track anymore that was nice um, she has a cat and isn't it so cute? I love the cat. But it was all a complete difference because at the end, she was fighting with Gabe, and obviously, turn of events, she did something that she was not supposed to do, and um, she feels bad for what happened, and she runs away because she did something. Like she did something she didn't expect to do and she didn't want to do she couldn't control it and everyone was i feel like everyone was scared mainly but i guess i won't know until i read the second book 
and what's going to happen next. But she thinks now she's a monster. If you can guess, you probably know what happened. But if you guys have read anything by this author, let me know down in the comments down below for me. And this is all it. And that's not really a big review, but it's a small book. I can't give you much details. Otherwise, I'm going to give you so much. It's just basically a spoiler. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.